Welcome to Lawfold's Farm, Episode 2, with me, Mr. Silly P. There's a few things that I need to get done at the start of this episode. Uh, I need to finish off the bailing. I've done most of it. There's a little bit left to do. Um, work out what I'm going to do about the bales, whether I'm going to auto stack or take them off manually. Which I haven't decided. That's got to be too heavy. Yeah. Um, I need to get the header on the header trailer and get that parked up. Uh, and first things first, actually, jump in the Sammy. I'm going to put this into storage for the time being. It's only 14,000 litres. It seems a long way to drive just for that. So, pop that into storage. And for the time being, just pop the trailer away as well, I think. Don't need that just now. I think the other one is probably a little bit too small. So what I might do is sell that. And then at some point get a larger one than the one I'm using at the moment. Or actually, hmm, I don't know, I might keep the smaller one. Because that might be good for the pigs for taking small amounts of crop. And then... Uh, sell the one I've just used. I don't know. I'll have a think. Just put this away here for the time being. Right, round to the harvester. Okay. So, as I said before with this, if I close this now, get the right one, it rocks forward on the suspension. If I open it up, it leans back. That might help me get the header onto the trailer. We can only hope. Kind of. Don't want to take it too far. That should be okay. Now I can close that down. And put it away. So anyway. Thanks for coming back. For the second episode. Trying to work out what things to do. And in what order, really. And you having this field <laughs> right by here. Haven't got to take the equipment too far. So I'm thinking just to be different. That's not going to work, is it? Dear me. Just drive into the trees. Um, I might, and this doesn't happen very often. I might try and do some of the bales manually and put them on a trailer. Hmm. Like I said, it doesn't happen very often. It probably won't happen again. I normally use the auto stack and I might well finish off using the auto stack. But I think I might give it a go. Because it's not something I do very often. See if my uh I say my skills. I don't think I've really even got any when it comes to uh to doing that. Okay, so, um, yeah, I might well do that, actually. Get these bells off the field to the first few. Maybe get a trailer load. Um, trying to work out where to put them. I need a majority of them over with the cows because they're going to be used for power food and bedding and some here for the pigs for bedding. So definitely fewer here. Yeah, I'll have a think. So, uh, where am I going? 
over to the JCB. Okay. Let's turn this on. Lower the pickup. Like I say, I've done most of it. Just got one little strip left to finish this off. And that is the bailing done. I'm not going to get a complete bail though. That's not the end of the world. So, if I turn that off, lift the pickup and empty this. Not quite sure why I turned the engine off on the tractor. Okay, fold that up. Been really impressed with this, I have to say. This mod's really good. I mean, I know it's the same as they're, they're all just reskins, and I know I used it on uh, Challington, but it's it's yeah, it's cheaper than the big versions that are the sort of standard base game versions. Works perfectly, no problems at all with that. Really, really good mod. So, I'm part this up. Oh, actually, before I do that, what I will do is go into the menu and just show you where are we. So, if we go down to missions completed, this session two, total ten. So, I have been doing missions. I have, you know, that's how the money seems to go up, and you know, and also bales created total fifty-eight. So, there are fifty-eight bales on this field that are going to need collecting. It's always hard when you're starting a map because it's, I mean, there are so many possibilities and so much different equipment to use and so many different jobs you could do and things to start with. And I don't know whether just to start arable, whether to get some animals on the go. Um, I don't want to copy exactly what I did in Shellington. But I think getting uh, feed and things like that ready is important. If you're going to be harvesting fields, you need some of that stuff for the animals. You might as well think ahead to what you are going to need. Like the bales, I need those for the animals. So it kind of makes sense to do that. At least I think it does. Yeah. Let's part this up. Yep, just cannot reverse short trailers. Never have been able to. Don't know why. Let's pop that there. So, something I did mention as well was about a tractor. So, before I even think about the bailing, not the bailing, but the collecting of the bales, uh, I made a decision to. Um, I know I said on the, the sort of first episode I was happy with the vehicles you get. And I am. Um, getting four tractors is brilliant off the start, but I had fence on Goldcrest Valley. So I did say on, if, you know, on different Let's Plays, I was going to try and use different manufacturers or at least different vehicles that I hadn't used before. Um, and I've used the 300 before. So, what I'm going to do is hopefully this will work here. Is sell that 99,000. Okay. And because that's colour coordinated, I'm going to get rid of that too sell that now the tractor I was going to buy I did a bit of digging around and I was looking um, online at the most popular tractor brands in the UK or most sales of tractor brands in, in the UK um, top of the pole is John Deere um, obviously there are no John Deere's on here uh, number two on that list is New Holland um, Number three was Massey Ferguson. Number four was Case. Uh, and then I think Fent didn't come far behind that. Um, I think Fent and Deutzfahr kind of having a bit of a, a battle around that area. So, the Hurleyman for the time being, I'm going to 
keep hold of, even if it's just for fertilizer spraying. Um, but I do need, what do I do with that? Oh, this over there, the um, front loader. So I do need a tractor with a front loader, but it only to be a relatively small one. I'm not gonna go mad. So I'm thinking this time around on this farm, what I might do is start off with smaller tractors and kind of gradually build myself up to, you know, whatever it is I'm gonna need. So that being said, with no John Deere's obviously on here, New Holland being the next real option. Now, the tractor I just sold was only 110 horsepower, but it could be modified up, I know that. Um, if I go up to the New Holland T6, it gets quite expensive. But I do quite like it. I might go with the T6. I want to get a New Holland anyway. Um, the smaller New Holland T5 even tuned up only goes up to 117 horsepower so that's quite low i'm just thinking for a few jobs around the yard let's have a quick look so with the front loader attacher can have it as 143 horsepower or 163 horsepower and then standard or narrow so i'll just leave them on standard 127,000. that's not too bad i just sold the fence for 99 so it's not a huge outlay. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to get myself a New Holland. Why not? T6 160 with front loader attachment. So I've got the front loader. So that's brilliant. What I will probably do is over the course of the episode, at some point that will be delivered uh, and I'll go and go around and collect it. So. The other thing we need to do then is um, a trailer. Oh, actually, I might need to use that because I'm going to need to use the uh, the front loader, aren't I? Oh, yes. Uh, the other thing I'm going to need as well is a trailer. If I'm going to put the bales onto something. So let's go through to baling technology. I haven't downloaded any modded trailers, in all honesty. So I might just stick with the Flegel that you start off with. The only downside to that is it's got that um, swiveling front axle. I don't really like that very much. It's hard to find places to park it up. But needs must and all that. So, shall I buy it? 12,000. Yeah, go on. I'll buy that. Why not? And the question is then... Do we own any bale spikes? We do. Excellent. Right, so I guess the thing to do now then is uh, get a taxi up to the store. <laughs> um, so I'm just south of Central. So I'm going to somewhere we can see a bit better. And the store is just north of Central, directly above me. So off to the store. It is a fair old drive back from that shop. <laughs> so what I will do is I'm going to grab another tractor to pull the trailer and I'll just go and um, grab the front loader and the bell spike and I'll wait for the back of this I think. I've got a fair size weight, I think. Should I put the right one on? Excellent. So out to the field. 
And I'll probably grab... I'll grab... Mm. JCB? Needs to be something that can pull it. I might get the Sammy, I don't know. I'll start off with the bells down this end, actually, so I'm going miles and miles that way. And like I said, I am not particularly good at this. So I will certainly give it a go. I wonder if that's the uh, the bigger set of the bigger front loader because that just seems what number is it? I've said sixty. Hmm. Seems very long. Uh, what do I want? JCB or the Sammy? I went JCB, just in case uh, it gets heavy. Typical. There we go. Now some of this I may skip. <laughs> if it's particularly terrible, <coughs> or it's taking me a really long time, I may well skip, but we'll see. Well, do look like the sound of that when it starts up. So we get on. Not too confident. Should have put the first bale right across, I think, probably. Would have been easier. It's a lot of weight over that front axle.
Have you noticed how now I'm concentrating and not talking? <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? It's a bit better. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, I'm going to carry on for a little bit. And uh, hopefully, when you next see me, I'll have more bales on there and they'll be nice and neat. Who knows? I don't know how much time this took, and I'll have to check when I edit. <laughs> but it's taken a while. But I've got there. No, at the end of the day. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Huh? This last one is a bit ropey, I think. I might have to uh, give him a bit of a shove, I think. It's on. Three stack high. It's not too bad. See if I can get to that, shall we? This is where I knock the whole lot off now. That's what I'm going to do. Save it. What was what I was going to do? What I ended up doing was actually turning it off. That was genius. So, so I can just uh, give this a nudge in the right direction. Oh, dearie me. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Well, knocking the whole lot off. So, oh god, that's how it's leaning now. I missed a strap. Nope. It did go on the back one. Ah, there we go. Okay, how are we looking? I think because I'm bailing on a slight slope as oh god, as well. Yeah, they're all. <laughs> uh, they weren't doing that a little while ago. I'll get that on the flat and I'll tidy it up. But that's not, you know, it's not too bad. How that's all moved, I don't know. So these are going to the cows. So I'm going to take those over to. Uh, is it Lewisk? Lewisk Farm, I think it was. And when that's on the flat, I'll try and tidy it up a little bit. And that will stay like that on the trailer for the time being. Uh, until I need them. That's all I'm doing manually. Uh, the rest, I will lease the... Um, that, why that really feels like it's going to tip over. 
I'm going to lease the um, auto stack, the Arcusin, I think. I'm going to take my time with this. Avoid that nice steep dip down out of the pigs just there. Now, when I did my um, uh, map tour, I'd kind of gone around and opened up gates and stuff that I needed to to make the map tour a bit easier. But obviously, when I came back onto the uh, Let's Play, it's a new save game, so they'll all be closed again, I would imagine. Oh no, that's weird. Oh, okay, well. Obviously remembered the save game. Just need to find somewhere to put these now. Um, I think I might. Oh, that's going to be in the way of the barn, isn't it? Hmm. time being, I think I'm just going to park them up here. Like so. So there we go, manually stacked bales, oh god that is terrible, anyway, uh, that will get tidied up, but there you go, done, now on to doing it a bit more sensibly I think, so what I will do is lease the, oh, we've got that one, does them in bigger stacks, that one does them in threes doesn't it I think, Never used that one before, actually. But it does it in threes. It's a lot cheaper as well. It would take a lot longer to do. So what we'll do? Let's have a look. To lease it, two thousand seven hundred fifty. To lease that, seven thousand seven hundred. Have a look at the Arcusin 4 stack. 8 12. I'll lease it and see what it does. So I'll get back over to the farm and collect it. Okay, so here we are. The Arcusin 4 stack. Interesting, it's called a 4 stack when it only does 3, but. You know, let's have a quick look. Cushion four stack. Hmm. Interesting bit of kit. Let's see how this works. What have we got then? Operating position. A bit like the bale shredder. This has got to be pretty precise, I'll take it. Blimey, this is going to be fun to use. Gotta get this absolutely spot on. Hmm. Oh, come on. It's got to give you a bit of leeway, surely. Oh, 
Let's press get in. Am I missing something here? It's not like I control with the width of it or Okay, what am I missing? It's gotta be simpler than this, surely. Well, wow, okay. Right. God, I like this very much. So I'll come right onto the bow there. That does not want to know, does it? Okay. Definitely not as quick as the other one. Three barrels at a time. Yeah, definitely quicker using the other one. I don't want to put these. Ran by the pigs, I think. Okay. Close back. Hmm. Yep, not liking that so much. That was a waste of money. Bit of a pain in the neck, that. Mind. Never mind. You live and learn. Collect the rest of them in a little while. Uh, I'll probably lease the other one and uh, yeah, wait for that to be delivered. Uh, I need to go and get in the new Holland and bring that back. This handled all that really well. I'm really impressed with that. I like it. I like it a lot. Pull this away. I have hired the Arcusin Auto Stack FSX 6372, as I said I was going to, to get the last of these barrels off the field. Note to self, never use the Arcusin 4 stack again. Hated it, didn't like it at all. Uh, I won't be using that again. I'll probably be using this. Other note to self, if you want to use an entire episode on just loading bales onto a trailer, <laughs> do it manually. If you want to do it as part of an episode, use the auto stack. <laughs> because this is the end of the episode. Um, we're about 35 minutes into an episode and it was basically loading bales onto a trailer and buying a new Holland of course which was part of the episode so next episode something a bit different these bales I think I've got 24 bales 24 bales down at the uh, the cow farm at Lewis which will do me to be getting on with I've got three over there down by the pigs which will be fine for bedding for a while so these I don't actually need and I'll just end up clogging up the map with bales so I'm going to sell these 
Uh, I'll do some off screen. I have also done a bit of contracting on field. What field did I do it on? Field 22, which is up here. If you look at growth now, it's been harvested. I did some contracting on there. Haven't seeded or anything yet or cultivated, but I did harvest and slurry inject. That's covered the leasing costs of both of these auto stackers. So anyway, that said, this is the end of the episode. Um, it wasn't what I intended it to be when I started out, but there, there you go. I've done something manually for a change. That makes a difference, doesn't it? I um, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.